Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x over 2 is equals to square root of x and we solve this problem for all the values of x. So here we find all the roots of this equation. So uh, we solve this problem for two methods and I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, in the first method uh, first we need to uh, eliminate the square root sign from right hand side for this we need to take the squaring on both of the sides so when we will take squaring on both of the sides it will be written as x over 2 whole square is equals to square root of x and its whole square so further in the next step we have uh, we uh, you very well know about that rule of square when we have a fraction base so here we need to apply the square on both of these terms separately so when we apply square on x it will becomes here x square when we apply square on 2 it will becomes 4 is equals to this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here x only so further in the next step we need a little bit simplifications here and you see this is this 4 is divided by here when we move in the right hand side it is multiplied by this x so it will be written as x square is equals to 4 times of x and and now further in the next step uh, we move this 4x in the left hand side it will becomes x square minus 4x is equals to 0. So you see here this equation will become quadratic equation in x variable uh, so we easily uh, solve this equation for the values of x. Uh, but this quadratic equation is not into the standard form okay so here you see that x is involved on both of these terms. Uh, so uh, we will take common x from here when we take common x from here we get only 1x minus when we take common x from here we will get 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 4 is equals to 0 so this is the our first root of the given equation and for the second root we need to move this minus 4 to the right hand side and it will becomes x is equals to plus 4. Okay so uh, here uh, we get these are the two roots of the given equation and now in the next step we need to uh, verify these two roots and we check that is these two roots are satisfied over given question statement or not because our given question statement is the radical equation so uh, in radical equation uh, we have a possibility to get the extraneous root okay so that's why the verification of these roots are necessary in that case so first we copy down given question statement here it is x over 2 is equals to square root of x and we, we verify the above both roots and here we, we verify x equals to 0 and here we verify x is equals to 4. So now we need to uh, substitute the value of x equals to 0 into the above equation. Uh, so after substituting x equals to 0 on both of the sides it will be written as 0 over 2 is equals to square root of 0. And we know that when we divide 0 with any number it will remain 0 so 0 over 2 is also equals to 0 is always equals to 0 and we know that square root of 0 is also equals to 0 so this shows that left hand side is equals to right hand side it means that the value of x is equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement so this is the first root of the given equation and now here further in the next step we need to verify the second uh, value of x and 
and we put this value on both of the sides and after substituting this value of x it will be written as 4 over 2 is equals to square root of 4 and here we need to cancel these terms and you get here this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we get our 2 is equals to this is square root of 4 and we know that square root of 4 is equals to 2 so this shows that left hand side is equals to right hand side and uh, it, it means that the value of x is equals to 4 is also satisfied our given question statement so this is the final answer of this question which we get here from first method and now here we move forward towards the second method and in second method we again solve this problem uh, for the values of x uh, so in uh, second method uh, first we need to copy down given question statement here so the given question statement is uh, x over 2 is equals to square root of x this is our given question statement and uh, in second method uh, we just uh, focus uh, in the left hand side and you see here in the left hand side we have x term so we break our uh, we write um, the term which is lies in the x uh, which is lies in the left hand side is here uh, you know about that if we have uh, 3 we write this 3 as square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 3 so uh, in the same pattern uh, we write this x as in this form we write it as uh, square root of x multiplied by square root of x divided by 2 is equals to square root of x so you see here both of the sides involve uh, square root of x uh, so that uh, here we need to divide both of the sides by square root of x so when we divide both of the sides by square root of x uh, it will be written as square root of x multiplied by square root of x divided by 2 times of square root of x this is our 2 and this is uh, square root of x and here we have square root of x divided by square root of x and uh, you see here this square root of x is cancelled out by this square root of x and after a cancellation of these terms we will get here square root of x over 2 is equal to this term is cancelled out by this term and we will get here 1 only so now here we move this 2 to the right hand side and it will be written as square root of x is equal to 2 so because we find the value of x so that's why we need to take the scaling on both of the sides so when we will take scaling it will be written as in this form this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here x is equals to this 2 square becomes 4 this is the our final value of x which we get here in from second method and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos